A review of German-American friendship, the Bundeswehr and the US military in the 1990s and the new millennium. After World War II, the Federal Republic of Germany and the United States of America became partners, both politically and at a military level. In the 1960s, 70s and 80s, the relationship between the two countries is dominated by the Cold War and the NATO-Warsaw Pact conflict. However, even after the fall of the Iron Curtain and German reunification, American troops continue to be stationed in Germany. The strong bonds between the two countries are also to be seen in sports. American football with the Frankfurt Galaxy team packs the stadium with a large crowd from the US Army and the Bundeswehr. In the meantime, the tough American sport has quite a large following in Germany. For fans of American football, there's always something well worth watching. From a military point of view, a major step was setting up two German-American multinational corps in 1993 in Giebelstadt in Bavaria. The former Minister of Defence, Volker Ruhr, explains the background. The multinational integration of our armed forces, implemented today, is a clear expression of our willingness and our ability to work together. But integration goes well beyond activities at core level. In 2007, five cadets from the American Military Academy West Point spend a semester at the Helmut Schmidt University in Hamburg. In West Point, is all very coordinated. In West Point, everything is strictly regulated, but not here. However, I've learned to organize my time myself. Apart from their studies at the Bundeswehr University, the cadets also visit the Bismarck Museum and the Submarine Training Center in Eckernförde. They'll certainly go home with a wealth of new impressions. I've learned so much more about German culture and also the language. And it's given me a deeper understanding of how the university system works here. Apropos see you again in West Point, a highlight in German-American cooperation at the beginning of the new millennium was in space travel. The German Air Force officer Thomas Reiter was on the discovery team on its journey into space. After years of training, it's great to be so close to liftoff. With a mighty thrust of energy, Discovery is launched into space. Total weight with maximum payload can be up to 109 metric tons. The space shuttle carrying the former Bundeswehr colonel docked with the International Space Station ISS. At an altitude of some 400 kilometers, the ISS orbits the Earth at a speed of approximately 29,000 kilometers per hour and circles the Earth in just 90 minutes. German-American cooperation at the highest level. <laughs> 